Hello and welcome to another episode of Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we are going to show you how to make traditional cacio e pepe, a beautiful Italian dish from Rome, Italy. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is start off with a tall pan and fill it a quarter of the way with water. We're going to use a little bit less water to make our noodles than normal, but we are going to make sure to season and salt it. Bring that water to a boil as you see here and throw in enough pasta for two people. That's what you see, baby. Oh yeah. Spread that evenly throughout the pan and get that to start softening up. And once it does, curl it into the water and make sure all noodles are covered. I'm going to set that aside, turn the heat down on my main fire source, and we're going to take some freshly ground pepper. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in here for two people. That little bit that was in that uh, container was just not enough. We got to make sure to heat up enough to make this cacio e pepe a beautiful and wonderful dish. Now what we're doing when we heat the pepper is we're actually bringing out the flavor. When you heat the pepper, you can actually smell the aroma coming off of the pepper seed. It's wonderful. You've got to try this. Make sure to keep your pasta stirring over there. And as we get the smell and aroma coming off of that pepper, we're gonna add in some of that pasta water. Oh, look at how beautiful that steams up. Now we're gonna to wanna to keep this water seasoned and keep an eye on it. What we're hoping for is that the pepper is going to infuse the water with amazing flavor, okay? And as you can see, that water is going to steam off. So we're going to continually add a little bit of water as we go until we can add the pasta into the dish. But look at this. Oh, beautiful. Now in the end, this is actually going to turn into the cream for the actual pasta. You're not going to believe this. There's actually no cream in this dish. It's just water, pepper, and cheese. That's right, cheese. Now normally in this dish, we're gonna ask you to hit the subscribe button. Oh yeah, oh yeah, every time in this dish, you're gonna to have to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because when you hit that bell, you're gonna get notifications of when new recipe comes out and it helps our channel a lot. As I was saying, we're gonna be adding some cheese into this sauce. Usually you're gonna use a Pecorino Romano, but because we are home cooks here, we're just gonna take some regular Parmesan, all right? Now, as you can see, our pepper sauce is doing well. Here we've got our Parmesan. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add a little bit of that pasta water in, and then we're gonna mix that together. What that's going to do is it's going to prepare the cheese for being added to the noodles. The one thing in a cacio e pepe sauce you don't want is to have cheese stringing through the noodles. We want a beautiful creamy sauce that's going to be made here. And so by adding that water, it temperatures the cheese to a point where it won't melt as much. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. Now we've brought our noodles to al dente about three minutes prior to them being completed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this off in our pepper cream sauce. You see how much juice is down there? You wanna keep that a little bit high as you see in there. We're gonna just keep stirring, 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 making sure that every noodle gets some of that pepper. And we're gonna make sure that we hit that subscribe button. And oh yeah, if you like what you're seeing here, don't forget to hit that like. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing and it makes me feel good. Now let's give this noodle a taste. Oh, beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the heat when these noodles are just about done. But first, let's add a little more pepper. Cacio e pepe, cacio, cheese, e pepe, and pepper. Make sure this has a little pepper. All right, now we're gonna remove the pan from the heat completely. This is very important, guys. Move it from the heat completely, and then we're gonna add the cheese. Why is that? If we keep it on the fire, that cheese is going to coagulate and become like a mozzarella on a pizza, which we don't want. What we want is a cream sauce, like an Alfredo, but instead of using cream, we're taking the pepper, the water, the starch from the, the noodles that we were boiling it in, 
and we're taking that cheese and we're going to toss it just like so. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, take a look at this. Oh. Peppery, cheesy, saucy, unbelievably easy to make, super cheap. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this video. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps our channel a lot. It lets us know that you give us a lot of love, and it makes sure that you're going to get notified every week when a new video comes out. Happy cooking.